Yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and create a project where we're going to actually use the document map and the parameters panel in ASP.NET. The first thing I'm going to show you is that I've already gone ahead and created a report called the product report based upon the Northwind database. This Northwind database comes packaged with the installation inside of your path, DevExpress 2011.1 demos and data. You can see it right there. Let's take a look at the report. Okay, the report itself is a categorized product report. It's a master detail report at the master level being the category and at the detail being the products. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to close this. And we're going to get started with adding a new ASP.NET project. To do that, we say file, add, new project. And I'm just going to choose a web application and call it docmap param demo. Now, we need to add a little bit of references to the mix. Let's go ahead and hit add reference. The first one we need to add is the reports assembly itself. And then there's various and sundry extra report libraries that we need to add. But I'm going to do a little bit of a shortcut and I'm going to pretend I'm adding a new report and let the system bring in all of the reporting DLLs that we need. Okay. We don't need this anymore. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually view the report in ASP.NET. I'm going to switch over to design view and I'm going to go ahead and drag on a report viewer. Notice also though, while we're looking here, that we have these two additional controls that you can play with. So let's add the report viewer. Notice it adds some special assemblies to the web config. And now let's add the report toolbar. Okay, the report toolbar asks for the respective report viewer. So we'll hit report viewer one and leave it there. The report viewer is going to require an actual report. But notice that this is not the report that we want. That is the report that we generated that was the dummy report. What we want to do is we want to point it to the product report right here. Why isn't it showing up? Well, let's, let me show you how to actually fix that and it'll explain why it's not showing up. Over here in the assemblies, what we need to do is we need to tell ASP.NET that we actually have an assembly that we want it to look at. And that's the reports assembly. I'll hit F6 to rebuild. And now we'll go over to the default.aspx page and see if we can't choose the report that we want. There it is. Okay, let's look at the source and let's make sure that everything looks good. Let's go ahead and include this ending P tag here so that these things can be close together. All right, now let's run it and see what happens. Let me set this as the default project, as a startup project. Let's set this up as the startup page. And then one other thing that's very important, notice that when we actually created the reports in the class library, the Northwind database lived here. But with websites, ASP.NET websites, the database usually is expected to be here. So let's add it there. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's hit F5 and run. There it is. Let's make sure we can do some pagination. And let's make sure the data looks good. And it indeed does. All right, let's make some space for the document map and the parameters panel. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up our, our HTML a little bit and add a little bit better sort of flow in the layout. Okay, 
So here's the report viewer and here is the toolbar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and I'm gonna start making some divs. So this is gonna hold all of the reports. Then we're gonna have a left side That's going to contain all of the document map and parameter support that we want. And then we're going to actually have the report. And this goes in here. Okay, notice we don't need this P tag anymore. And here is our new layout. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that there's some styles that allow us to look at this the right way. If we look at it right now, everything still looks about the same. So let's create some CSS. All right, so notice that we have our report container. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it some, some space at the top. And then we're gonna make sure that it fills the whole window. All right, on the left side, we want that to float left. So we'll say float left, and we'll make sure that it is a certain width. Let's say 250 pixels. And we're gonna give a margin at the top of 10 pixels. Okay. Let's add something for the report viewer. We're gonna set the margin on the left side to be 260 to give it an extra bit of room. We're gonna get some padding in there to be at 10. And we're gonna give it a border. And let's give it some gray color. Okay, we'll stop right there and let's see what it looks like when we look at the design view. Okay, it looks like this thing is shaping out to be the way we want it. Notice that we're gonna add a document map and parameter over here and then we're gonna, we're gonna view the report over here. So let's go ahead and let's add the parameters panel first. We'll just put it down here and move it to here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the actual document map. I'm gonna put it here for now. And then we can go ahead and move it into this div. There you go. Notice that these things are a little too close together. So we'll separate that later with CSS. But notice that we've automatically created the parameter, parameters panel, and the document map. These things are gonna be created in divs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some more styles. So in the left report, the direct divs that are under it, which should be the two panels, I'm gonna go ahead and give it some padding. And I'm gonna give it a border. And we're gonna use the same color we used before, a little bit of a light gray. And I'm gonna give it a margin at the bottom for each one. All right, let's take a look. Okay, notice that these things should be fitting a little bit better once we actually render them. Now, as before, what we need to do is we need to tell the report parameters panel and the report document panel which report viewer to use. Very similar to the toolbar. 
I'm going to choose report viewer here and also choose report viewer one here. Let's run it. Okay, notice that there are indeed things in there. We have these little panels that we've set up, but notice that they are indeed empty. And the reason why is because document maps and parameters and reports need to be set up in reports. And that's what we'll do next. Okay, let's head on over to the report and actually make it so that these features are available. So notice again that this is a feature of the report and the viewer is really only acquiescing to what the report tells it. So let's go to the product report and let's add some bookmarks in order for the parameter or for the document map to work. So let's go to the label for categories. Let me change the, the label's name to label category. And notice that in order to set to set the document map up, we need to create these things called bookmarks and we're going to bind it. We're going to bind the bookmark so that its name corresponds to the category name. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also go down to the actual product and we're going to go ahead and select for its bookmark. We're going to be categories and then category products and it's going to be product name. Now let me hit preview and show you what happens. Notice that on the left hand side we have the actual category but then these guys are appearing at the same level where they should be nested. Let me show you how to fix that. So if you go to product name there is a bookmark parent property and that bookmark parent property tells it which bookmark is its parent. That is the reason why I changed the name of the label to label category so it would be easy to find. Now when I hit preview you'll see that those are all showing up. Let me hit save. And now remember, I made no changes to the ASP.NET application. As we've said before, the document map is a feature of the reports, not the view of the report. So let's hit play. Okay, notice here at the left-hand side, we have the document map, as you would expect. Let me click this and notice that it goes automatically to the right spot. Okay, now it's time to add parameters. Okay, the parameters we're going to set up are for filtering the report by category. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And again, remember, this is a feature of the report and not of the ASP.NET view of the report. So to set up a parameter, we go to the field list, right click the parameters and hit add parameter. So I go to edit parameters. I'm going to go ahead and change all the properties here. I'm going to call it the category parameter. I'm going to leave it to string. I'm going to hit OK. Let me make sure I name it properly. OK. Now I'm going to head on over to this cool thing called the filter string. The filter string allows you to filter the report. Now again, this is filtered after you get the data. So if you have 10 million billion records and then you're going to filter by the category after that, notice that this will get the records first and then filter. It's not sending anything over to the database. Okay. So let's set that up. So I'm going to hit the filter string and I'm going to add a new way to filter. So I'm going to go with category name and you can enter a value or you could choose another field to match it with or you can use the actual parameter and that's what that question mark category has to do with and then you see that this is what it starts with. So I'll hit OK. Now when I go over to the preview it should ask me now for a category. So I'm going to hit C, hit submit and notice that it brings up the categories that we want. Now, there, are, there is an important distinction now with parameters. For example, notice that when I hit preview, nothing loaded until I told it the parameter 
value that I wanted to use. Now, in order to change that, there is something. There is a field. There is a particular property on a report that's very important. That's called request parameters. Request parameter specifies whether the report document should start at all before the parameters have been pulled. I'm going to hit no, which means that you're going to see something like this. It's going to pull all the data up and then you can filter after that. You see the document map conforms again to that change. So I'll hit save and then run again. Okay, notice the report is loaded again, all eight pages. Let's go ahead and hit C and then submit. And notice that indeed everything is working as we would expect. All right, thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.